I belong to a very small place in India called Jabalpur in MP where mostly government sector people live there right my father is also from a government sector he was working for a defense ministry of defense i grew up in a army quarters actually right so where every house used to be the same every uh, male member of the house used to go to the same office wearing the same uniform i used to go to school come back home i saw my father doing go to work come back home go to work come back home i saw my parents doing a lot of extra things other than the job to earn more money like side businesses and all that to provide us better life and probably knowingly and knowingly that thing actually came in me not to compromise but to work extra to have a better life first of all when i started this business i was not even knowing this is called entrepreneurship i was looking out for something as an option to get out of job because i knew that this job is not going to take me anywhere even after growing year after year i was running in a circle actually right running in a circle means reaching nowhere i'm not leaving my job to start the business what i'm doing is picking up a product using the product gaining the experience and promoting the same actually right and stretching myself after job hours all what i was putting was my effort actually that was most attractive for me because i was not in a position to leave my job because i had responsibilities and i cannot put anything on stake because my parents my old parents and my sister was on me actually right what was attractive for me was there's nothing to lose if i have to explain metaphorically my life was like as if i'm standing next to the river and i don't know how to swim and cross the river but there's a lion next to me and i can see the lion even if i don't jump lion will kill me so i took a chance by jumping because there's a hope at least that i will swim through and cross the river and that's what exactly happened i had no allergy from direct selling i had a great stint before except i was not earning money there immediately after getting out of my college when i was 22 23 years old i had a short stint with one of the biggest american company actually the oldest american company and from there exactly i learned that how to dream i learned how to be committed actually right and i learned about financial freedom as a concept but the growth was not very fast i was not making money very fast right and when you grow faster in a job you are more committed in a job and slowly you fizzle out from there so that's what exactly happened but after almost around 8 9 years when i saw qnet business i saw it is possible to replace my salary and get out of job not just from a monthly income from a weekly income here actually right so i said this is possible here i love the industry and i can make money here why not see one of my ex colleague rather he was my reporting manager actually we had a great relationship so he knew that i had a stint in direct selling and he also knew that i'm looking out for something right and somebody called him from thailand to explain qnet business on the phone right and he tried explaining the same thing to me which i never understood right but i don't know what happened both of us really lookers actually so both of us started only because there was nothing to lose what i saw was first a weekly income there's no other business or job or direct selling company which gives a weekly income actually right and that to be with a great potential the potential is to replace your salary on a weekly basis not even on a monthly basis if you work hard you can decide how much you want to earn and i said yes that's great and i'm ready to work hard because if i see a goal if i see a possibility i just go mad to achieve it actually right so all these things fell in place when this business came in my life So it was an amazing journey actually roller coaster ride learned a lot but if i have to sum it up in one line last 14 years i always tell my people it's not important what i got from this business what i become through this journey in the process actually as a person is more valuable than what i got which means this business has changed me as a person my thought process my actions my belief system my work ethics everything is basically is an entrepreneurial mindset actually right and this is this has happened in last 14 years right first few years i learned how to do the business right technical part right but after that the situation the challenges the issues right all these things made me learn how to be detached how not to give up on people how not to become complacent actually how to start the journey again and again starting new markets right and all these things are most important for becoming an entrepreneur actually so that's that's how my journey was When I was going through the challenges I was not knowing these are the biggest challenges right? but when I look back I think for anybody the biggest challenge could be that time when my first year was going on and I left my job and I was not making good money I was barely surviving keeping myself positive keeping myself looking at possibilities and keep moving I don't know how I was doing that 
I was just living one day at a time. And then after one year, boom, it took off actually, right? And most of the people say, oh, your second year onwards, you become lucky. But I tell them, the credit goes to my first year. Well, that was the foundation. That was a testing time by God for me. That is a time when I become resilient. Because when things are going fine, everybody can be positive actually, right? But that time things were not going fine. And I was still excited actually, right? It's not easy for people to stay positive, look at possibilities and still work hard when they are bleeding financially. That was my case in my first year. The first thing from this business which I learned is leading by example. This is not a managerial role wherein you are managing the team, you're leading the team, right? So leading them by example means doing things before you expect others to do, right? And I'm proud that today I can say that. I try to lead by example everywhere actually, right? And second is a detachment. Because people come and go, people perform and they, they become complacent. And that's where exactly you lose temper, you lose relationship and everything. But I learned to stay detached because that's their journey. That should not affect my journey, right? I should not be complacent, I should keep moving with or without anybody. I'm a consistently disciplined person. That has happened only because of the business. I was not knowing I can be disciplined before the business, right? It took long time. But today, if somebody asks me what is my biggest strength, discipline and consistency. This become part of my life. And believe me, this is useful everywhere. I can do anything. I can live my life based on these values and still perform anywhere else, which I learned from this business. Act. It's a journey of being committed, having a belief in what you're doing. It's a journey of not having doubt, a lot of hard work. It's a journey of a lot of objections, laughters, but still you know what you're doing and in your head you're excited about it and you believe in it, right? To reach at that level, it takes time. You fight a lot of battles and I think it's okay to fight those battles. Just stay connected to the system, stay connected to the appliance, stay connected to your dreams actually. When we travel in the local train, hanging outside, because there's no space inside, right? Once you hang, you have no option to leave. You just have to hang in. And if you keep hanging in, you will reach to your destination actually, right? Same way in this business also, I had no option but to keep hanging in. You are definitely, you know, because train is moving already, right? Even if you're not getting result, you are learning a lot of, a lot many things. And that learning will give you result eventually, right? That's it. Thank you.